Luhansk Oblast Governor Serhiy Haidai claims Ukrainian forces are not far from the city of Kremina. Haidai claims Russian troops have withdrawn from Kremina to Rubizny, 15 kilometers south of the front line. The reports that our military has already liberated Kremina or at least advanced to its outskirts are not true, but the fighting is going on near the city and I can say that the command of a certain echelon that was stationed in Kremina has now been moved to Rubizny, said by Serhi Haidai, Luhansk Oblast governor. A Russian-installed official refuted Ukrainian media's claims that Kremina has been captured by Ukrainian troops. The official said the claims are obviously meant to trigger media hysterics to conceal Ukraine's big losses. The Russian military claims Ukraine has lost 60 troops near Kremina in the last 24 hours. Russian-installed officials of LPR claim Ukraine is suffering huge losses in Artyomovsk in the Donetsk region. Russia says troops from Ukraine's 14th Mechanized Brigade have been sabotaging orders from their command near Kupiansk. Ukraine's air force called explosions on Russia's Engels air base, consequences of Moscow's actions in Ukraine. Air Force spokesperson, Yuri Inat, said that if the Russians thought that the war would not affect them deep in the rear, they were wrong. Inat added that even though Russia targets critical infrastructure across Ukraine, Kiev remains Putin's number one target. Ukrainian authorities have urged Kherson residents to evacuate due to intensified shelling by the Russian forces. Russian forces reportedly struck Kherson seven times over the past day targeting warehouses and civilian homes. The head of Ukraine's intelligence directorate, Kirill Budinov, said that Ukraine will return occupied Crimea by force. We will regain Crimea in a combined way, both by force and diplomacy, but nothing will happen without force. Our units will go there with weapons in their hands, said by Chief of Defense Intelligence, Ukraine. According to Budinov, Iran and China have not sent a single missile to the Russian military. British intelligence claims Russia lacks trained personnel and drones to monitor defensive minefields in occupied Ukrainian territories. Russia's Luhansk People's Republic officials claim mercenaries from over 30 countries are present in the Ukrainian military. Russia's Federal Security Service says it liquidated a Ukrainian sabotage group while trying to enter the Bryansk region on December 25th. As a result of a clash on December 25, 2022, the saboteurs, who attempted to enter the territory of Bryansk region from Ukraine, were killed, quoted by Russian media. The FSB alleged that the saboteurs were armed with foreign-made guns and four improvised explosive devices. Explosions were heard and a large fire has reportedly broken out in a warehouse in the Russian city of Novosibirsk. One of the three Russian MiG-31K aircraft stationed at the Mishulichi airfield in Belarus reportedly caught fire on December 25. The MiG-31K, that can carry the Kinchel hypersonic missile, has reportedly been deemed inoperable in the near future. Russian troops claim to have destroyed a US-made M777 howitzer used by the Ukrainian military to shell Donetsk. Turkey says over 15 million tons of products have been exported through the Black Sea Grain Corridor since August. Ukraine has demanded Russia's removal as a permanent member of the UNSC, where Moscow can veto any resolution. Russia's Interfax news agency has said that the Kremlin is planning to equip its air force with new, air-launched hypersonic cruise missiles. In the interests of long-range aviation, the development and supply of the entire range of aviation weapons, including new cruise hypersonic missiles, is being carried out, said by Sergei Kobylash, Russian commander. The new missiles use scramjet engines to fly at very high speeds, making them more difficult to shoot down. Ukraine claims Russia is producing Iskander, Calibre and X-101 cruise missiles, but not at a pace to launch massive attacks frequently. The Ukrainian military claims Russia is preparing for a massive strike on the country. Russia's Deputy Foreign Minister Mikhail Galuzin claims the era of the US-dictated unipolar world is coming to an end. The era of a unipolar world, 
when the United States and its European satellites used intimidation tactics that they had polished to perfection over the years to dictate conditions to other countries and determine their course of development in accordance with their selfish interests and even break their state systems, is coming to an end, said by Mikhail Galuzin, Russia's deputy foreign minister. Galuzin said Kiev's actions are endangering the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant and may lead to a disaster. Meanwhile, members of the Commonwealth of Independent States held an informal meeting in the Boris Yeltsin Presidential Library in St. Petersburg. 